Hello everybody, and welcome back. Vintage Cube has run its course, and we are now being offered what's called Live the Dream Cube. Which I'm a little skeptical about, it seems a, a, a bit like playing uh, StarCraft 5 Minute No Rush back in my youth here, but um, well, we'll give it a shot. I'm certainly always interested in checking out different cubes, so who knows, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't, we'll see when we get into it. We'll see you for the draft. All right, here we go. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. I do see some familiar cards. That's good. We have a uh, lightning bolt, cloud laser, eternal wonder. Uh, this color. Okay, I've never seen that card in my life. That's good. Rasher was fun in that format. Little timed explosion. Wow, what a what an interesting set of cards uh okay so i know blinking is definitely going to be a thing so like cloud blazer is interesting it's a five mana card though i think i'm just gonna think bolt i know it's like the most boring choice in the world but it's a it's a nice familiar place to root myself and if it's in this cube it's, it's gotta have some targets right we can see several in this pack so just having an efficient piece of interaction i think it's held to pay. X damage their creature, creating a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to the excess damage. Okay. Here's Warcrafting. Again, deals with that sort of thing. Oh, Domri's calling. Uh, virtue. What is this? Balrog? 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. No, 7 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Trample haste. When it dies, you may exile it. Each opponent exiles a creature. Are you? Okay. And then you make two treasures. And you Pretty good big thing. Noble's Purse can make treasures. Seems like treasures are a little bit of a theme as well. I feel like Ephemerate could be really strong. We just saw that blink target there. I, I would take a red card, but these ones don't stand out to me as particularly good. I could also take Stomping Ground. You know, fixing is probably important in this format. Let's take an early Ephemerate and see where that takes us. Okay, there's Pest Infestation. I don't know how, like, artifact and enchantment heavy this cube is, but this card's pretty messed up in Vintage Cube, so that's sort of a good place to start. Uh, unspent mana loses. Wow, okay. Bizarre commander card. Okay, here's a treasure payoff, for example. It's not bad. Rankle, Safala, Sylvan Library, Flames of Anor is pretty good, I think. Martial District's obviously fine. I think I'm just going to take Pest Infestation. This is potentially a way to put a lot of mana into something, and it might help us deal with some problematic permanents, so let's go with that. Uh, four damage, one loses life. Murderous Redcap is a nice one. Signet, a Scalding Tarn, a Siege Gang Commander. This thing? Flying Menace Haste. When it attacks, draw two cards. Six mana, five, five. Maybe you can cast this. It's pretty good. Or reanimate it or something. Though I suspect reanimate is not a thing in this cube. That seems like it would kind of break the principle of trying to live the dream. I'm going to take the Scalding Tarn. We've got a little bit of interaction. We have this ephemerate that maybe will do something, maybe it won't. So I'm not, I don't know. Ugh, excuse me. I don't know what my colors are yet, but fetch line's got to be good. Uh, okay, Zealous Conscript is kind of nice. People are trying to do really big things. This is two mana, two, two. Uh, looter of sorts. And then you can pay five. Reveal until you hit a non-legendary mana value through your last you can cast this turn. Then it also just has a second part that buffs your creatures. It doesn't seem bad. Helps you filter your hand a little bit. 3-1 Cascade. Copy of any permanent that entered the battlefield. So now I see. Eh, it's a little bit dangerous, I think. 7 to a player. Destroy some stuff. Too complicated. There's Simic Signet. Maybe I should just take Acceleration. Eh, we'll try. 
Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Seems cool. I don't know if this ephemera is getting there, but. Uh, here's Quintorius. You know, that card's not too bad. Laughing Jasper Flit. Three mana, four, three. Creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries. To be your upkeep, exile top X of an opponent. Where X is the number of outlaws you control. Okay. Uh, until end of turn, you cast spells from among those cards. Blah, blah, blah. I assume this is an outlaw. I don't actually know what counts as outlaws, but I assume this does. Jacob. I'm just going to take this Gruel Signet. Feels like we might be green and red, so let's do it. Because like I said, target works. The number of colors you spent to cast a spell. Sorcery. On the front end, it's at best two mana, but the flashback can be a lot more interesting, but I don't know about it. Exile on permanent abundant controls, return. One of discards, return to transformed. The 6 6 dragon. Kind of cool. Does it take five colors? Put a bitch counter and draw a card. I don't know. I'll take this thing. Like, I really am not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Guy Eternal Kefnet. Field first card. If it's in our sorcery, you can copy it for free. Oh, that could be sweet. One of the multiverse. I mean, it's got eight mana. I don't think it's very good. There's doubling season. There's battle ball. I don't know if I want to be blue, but God Eternal Kefnet seems kind of sweet. Dream Eater, Surveil 4, you can do some stuff. Master. I think Master of the Wild Hunt. That's a good thing to accelerate off of Signets. Rask's Forge, put an oil counter, then make an X1, where it's the number of oil counters. Sack it. Oh, the Cloud Blazer also wield? You have the Ephemerate. I don't have anything else that's good with the Ephemerate. Hmm. That blazer's sweet, though. Let's see if we can find something for it. Okay, I could take Hell to Pay now. Or I could take. Uh, I should actually take Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground. Do three menace. Make treasures. Seems pretty solid. Take that one. I think I'm going to be red, white, blue, and we just. Maybe we'll splash this pest infestation. Exile, target non token, return it. The end step. Uh, fixing. Take some fixing. Protege. What is this? Third enchantment control. So I don't know. I don't even have time to read that whole card. Finland's wealth, and we wants to play black, sure. She's an enchantment you control, it doesn't have the same name as another permanent you control. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it isn't legendary. If it's an aura, you untap it and scry to. Okay, I don't think we're doing that thing. That's cool though. I don't know if we're doing general Ferris either at the moment. I can put that one in the sideboard. Seems like a sweet card in this cube, though. I will say that. Don't know about this Kefnet. We'll see. Ooh, Johnny's nice. You can blink it or just play it, and it's pretty good. What's this? 5 mana, 3, 4. Create X tokens that are copies of another creature you control. Or X since sorceries. Okay, it's not a thing we're doing. Words of Durin, scry to you, may reveal the top card of your library. The creature put on the battlefield, tap and attack it. Oh, okay. Also powerful. Um, there's a Seekus Chariot, which is just a messed up card. Volcanic, which is nice. I don't know, Seekus Chariot's pretty good. Not doing anything busted with it. But I'm supposed to get Johnny. The Johnny. Eh, I'll take the chariot. I don't know. Sahili. 
create tokens, copy them back to our creature artifact, sack it to the end step. Are you supposed to take a signet here? Or wooded foothills? Uh, uh, absence, fine. I still care about these super expensive cards. Four, four, creature, scry one, draw card for five minutes. That's actually not bad, but I'm going to take the signet. All right, we're off black, so I'm not, I'm not going to take that. That's not really doing a whole lot. There's Brago. Okay, we could go f more in on the blink thing. Nice with the Seekers Chariot, Cloud Blazer. Uh, I guess it's not great with a ton of other stuff, but I think I like Brago here. Maybe I'll just cut the red. Uh, can't be copied. Copy a spell, create a token that's a copy of target creature. Okay, so it's an instant speed clone at worst. So bad. Turn creature from the at the battlefield, return a vehicle, return an aura thing. I'm just taking a land here. Uh, I guess I'll take a blue green one, sure. I think I'm looking at cutting red from my deck at this point, and we're going to be blue, white, green, blink somehow. Uh, so Kashima the Imposter, and there's a copy. I don't think we're going big enough for Mirari's way. Could take Quatly. Quatly is a good thing to blink. Uh, this is also a good thing to blink. Hmm. We do have two signets. I kind of don't mind having a lot of fours, I guess. Uh, I don't think I care about this. Ooh, Metamorphs can't be too bad. Oh, there's so many clones in this. Kind of wild. Throwing artifact or enchantment could be good. There's the battlefield. Make it 2 2 or 3 3 or 4 4. Creature doesn't have death touch. I don't have a good way to get this into play, though. Uh, I guess Metamorph's probably better than Visage Bandit. Grab that. Uh, these things don't help quite so much. Was this a 2-6 snake? Your attacker's death touch. Oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't know about it. Exile a non-land permanent opponent controls until you use the battlefield. You mean to life flash. It's a removal spell. I might take it. I could use a removal spell. What are you? Well, you may look at the top card. Make it 3-3. Three, three. Okay. There's the battlefield investigate. Not bad. Sack clue, draw X, gain X. Oh, precursor golem's a nice one to blink as well. Oh, there's some reanimator, but it's a bit slow. Yeah, let's try the precursor golem. And sky cleave? Use more removal. I'll take a sky cleave. Alright, let me cut all the red out of here. We're mostly white blue, but I do want to play green, I think, for some of this stuff. Uh, where's the battlefield? Return the thing. Eternalize for seven. Four mana, two, one. A little expensive. Uh, you may exile a thing until it leaves, and the embalm it. That one's okay. I'll take witness. I don't know, though. Oh, explore or Oko. Not committing lots of crimes. It becoming copies of creatures and then being able to be blinked is kind of neat, I guess. Explorer seems good though. I need to accelerate to my fours. Uh, if one or more counters will be put in an artifact creature, put that many plus one, move some stuff, cycle. I'm not really doing counter stuff. I'll just take Deserted Beach. I could definitely use it. Ooh, I'm glad the Hotly wield. I'm happy to take that one too. We need to find more ways to actually blink stuff. I just have Brago and Ephemerate so far, but 
thing is, ETB creatures tend to be pretty good anyway. So it's fine. I might play this. I don't know, though. It doesn't really go on theme of what we're doing, but it's a pretty reasonable card. It's kind of annoying. Omanath. Okay. Annie joins up. What's this? Deals five. Uh, I see. Kind of fun. I don't know if that's what we're going to be doing. There's the battlefield. Make meteorite that deals two damage and adds one mana. Bizarre card. Okay. Hedge Maze is nice. It's fetchable by Scalding Tarn. I also like Whirler Rogue a decent amount. What is this thing? For Meriden, when it becomes attached. Copy of another creature again. Okay. This is a broadside, but. I think I'm just taking Hedge Maze. A fetchable land seems kind of nice here. Oh, now the red's flowing again, man. Int Int's a really good card. Welcoming Vampire. That one's okay. I have a decent amount of two power or less creatures. So that'll often make me a clue. Or draw a card, even better. Oh, there's also Planar Genesis, though. Planar Genesis accelerates me. I feel like I need all of my two drops to accelerate me, pretty much. So I think I should probably just take Planar Genesis. Troxa. Incubation Druid, add one mana, has a counter at three instead, and it can tap. Okay, it's not bad, it's another accelerant. It's also Tundra, which is fetchable. Uh, exile and non-token, return it. Like Vigilance Ward, that's pretty nice. Oh, Felia might be insane, actually. I think Felia and Twinning Twins, Twining Twins, are both quite nice. I think I'm just going to take Felia. I'm sad to miss out on the Tundra, but my mana's not too bad, and I do need more ways to blink, and Felia's pretty messed up in the first place, so. Let's do that. Not doing landfall things. Not really doing Lotus Cobra things that much. Vine stock's decent. Treasure map's okay. I could take Delta here. It fetches blue, so it fetches... Currently only Hedge Maze, or just an island, but I might get more stuff for it. And these other choices aren't that exciting for me, so maybe we will we wheel some lands or something. Uh, Scarcus Nile. Got it. Vigilance, put some more in for colors, and then you can add some colors. It's going to be like a 3-3 three, three a lot of the time. Snappy, I don't have anything to snap. Restless Spire, not really that exciting. What is this champion? Exerted, put a creature from your hand on the battlefield. Ah, that's the dream of living, I see. It's another not great pack for us. I might take the Elder, but I kind of hope not to play it. Matic Horry. Very... What is this? Choose up to one target artifact, creature, and land. Untap. Tap. Okay. Draw a card with impulse and some emblem. And yeah, that seems fine. Good looking Shildred. I probably just take a clone here. Clones are good. Especially in this kind of format. Jin and Gitaxis. What have you guys Non creature, battlefield, saga. No, no, that sounds that exciting for us. And pack three did not go great for me. Like Restless Prairie here, that card's fine. Uh, this card's pretty good. There's another Jin Gitaxis. Not looking too good. Notorious the Lore Master. I'll take Sarah here. 
Creatures with flying get plus one plus one is mostly whatever, but it comes in and makes an angel and then you kind of do other stuff with it later. It'll still be fine. And I can take tap around tap a thing. I think I'm just going to take any joins up. I have some red splash potential. This can kill a thing, which is relevant. And then triggered abilities of legends is actually not too bad. This God Eternal is not making it. Eh, I guess not that good either. Maybe I'd rather just take a Shock. Or an Omnath. I have some fetches. You know what? I'm going to take an Omnath. It draws a card in ETB. A late NT. Uh, this counter spell clash with an opponent. If you win, it's a mana drain. It's a four mana counter spell. I'll put it in my sideboard. Sadly, oh no, this thing did wheel. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Okay, so we'll take that as another way to blink. So now we have Ephemerate, the Twining Twins, Brago, and Felia as ways to blink stuff, which is kind of nice. Just 29 with 8 lands. So I'm actually short playables. That's not great. I would actually, I wouldn't mind cutting this Frost Fang, but I guess I won't. I guess Omnath staying in as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build a mana base that can support red all that well, because I would love to play Lightning Bolt. feels like there's a lot of stuff it could hit that's quite good. Uh, a bunch of black cards, huh? Really don't want to play a four mana counter spell all that much. Champion of Ruins. That doesn't seem that good either, but take it, I guess. Okay, we'll take Weird Teferi. It's playable at the very least. Uh, could play 18 lands with Explorer and Planar Genesis and a big glut of fours. It's not crazy, but. This would be 18 lands. Like, I don't really have anything in my cyber I want to play except for Lightning Bolt, and I don't think my mana base is going to support Lightning Bolt is the issue. I could play Timeless Witness. It's fine. It's just not. It's a little expensive for what it does. It is good with Blink, I guess. There's that. Yeah, maybe the Witness is fine. Maybe I cut the Omnath and I don't have to worry about red mana. I just play the Witness instead. This Omnath's not doing anything crazy. Like, I have some fetch lands, so sometimes it'll give me the extra mana, which is nice, but not, like, amazing. I, mean, I could play both and only play 17 lands, but I actually think 18's going to be good here. Got a little bit of card draw and card selection stuff. It should be okay. A few extra lands to work with. All right, so that means I don't need stomping ground at all. Uh, well, actually, I do need it because it lets Scalding Target green. So let's see, I have double white over here, I have double green over here, and I have much double blue. So my mana is just tough. Let's see what we've got so far. We have two fetches. Scalding Tarn gets, uh, let's see which these things have types. Anchorage has types, and Stomping Ground has types. Wait, no, not Anchorage, sorry, Hedge Maze. So, I mean, Scalding Tarn can get all three colors. That's good. Polluted Delta can only get two colors. Okay. This is just a green-blue land only. This is effectively a forest. Uh, White-blue. White-green. Okay. 
So our baseline is this. So we have one, two, I guess I can just not, well, I can count scalding term of everything. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I guess we also have signets. Uh, so Zorius counts for another one white. So one, two, three, four, five white currently. So this will be nine white, which is okay. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be 10 green. Okay, so I can maybe even go down one. Just start at the baseline of nine each. In blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is also nine. Okay. So this is nine, 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 and I get two more lands. So what do I want to get 10 of? Green, probably. I do have a lot of double green going on here. So I have the early explore, then blue or white. The Twining Twins double blue isn't that relevant because I'm mostly using the front side initially, so I'll have some time to find the extra blue. Impersonator obviously is important, but I think white is going to be the bigger deal. So we'll go with that. Play this 18 land monstrosity, and you know, we'll see if this cube's fun. See you in round number one. All right, here we go. We're on the draw. I have accelerant into four drops, so I don't think I can go wrong with that. Blue delta can get green. Uh, tap unless you control through more other lands. Okay, so I won't be able to play the planar genesis on two, but I can play my signet, so it should be fine. So we'll go surveil land, get green. Play my Sigma now. Well, now I could play Genesis if I wanted, but Sigma probably still makes more sense. I could use this for a non land later. Sylvan Library, yeah, that's a good one. Have this hedge maze. Yeah, I'll put that on top. Fine. All right. Go lanes, I guess. Into a signet. There's, of course, the green red could destroy a signet pretty easily, and that's kind of a downside to doing it this way. But at the very worst, I have the backup of Watley. So, okay. Sylvan does seem good in this format as well if people aren't pressuring a life total. I want to double top. Let's see. A signet of their own. Okay. Uh, let's just go blue source. I guess I can play this now. Control tour more other lands. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this into fairy. Boop. I have to reread this. Choose an artifact. Creature and land, untap if you own them, tap them if you don't, gain two life. So I could play Planar Genesis off of that. Or look at top three, put one into your hand, the rest on the bottom. That's probably better for now. Just playing Impulse, and they don't have any pressure in play yet, so it should be fine. Uh, Alright, well, I'll take the Metamorph, I guess. It's a lot of clones. See if our opponent place something for us to clone. But yeah, next turn to fairy can make me some extra mana off of Signet and a land. It's pretty good. I guess I couldn't have planar genesis because I can't untap two lands of the signet. It doesn't quite work there. Okay. Oh, that kills my thing. That's kind of annoying. It's fine. There's a battlefield or attacks, you make this thing. When you tap an artifact token for mana, I see. Two, three, four. Play Planar Genesis into a land and play a land. I'm trying to see if I can Metamorph plus Clever Impersonator, but I, I guess I don't want to double copy Roxanne. 
Maybe I go planar genesis into metamorph here. That feels fine. Do it that way. I guess I could play Hwatli also, but if you just have this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's explore. Don't think I want the land here. Then I'll take. Hmm, that's better here. Maybe the guard. Just keep drawing cards. Yeah, sure. Go land, metamorph. San. Thing, and I guess hit my opponent in the face with it. They're building up something big. I don't love that. But I do. They're not using Sylvan Library, which is odd. Right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana this turn. Be a lot. We have one more clone going at least. The tag, do I trade? Probably not, because I'd like to attack back, but on the other hand, they could play a blocker, and then I wouldn't be able to, so maybe it's better to just trade. What's that? Choose five. Kill all my artifacts, okay. Oh, he's okay. I think that mana hit certainly sucks. I I'll just play this now. How worried am I about my life total? They're starting to pop me a lot with the meteorites, and I don't love that. This needs me some life, though. Precursor golem's interesting. Kind of forgot I had that line of text about being targeted by stuff. Could end up being a big downside. Unite the coalition. So our opponent's just a five color deck, I guess. Uh. All right. Yeah, I think we're losing this one. Sand's doing some stuff. All right. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come back here. We don't have any, like, board wipes or anything, so... Know what I'm supposed to do here? Instead, I deck end up with no removal, which really sucks. Maybe I am supposed to be splashing that bolt. They didn't attack with this. Why? Strange play. Okay. If you have any permanent, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just playing the impersonator and I'm sad about it. Let's make a card draw guy. Then I'll flash and failure on the end step. I 
right? If Felia lifts to attack, I can play it with Precursor Golem or something. See what huge thing our opponent's gonna do now. We have just basically infinite mana. Hit that, it's fine. Blocking. But it's effectively taking two either way, so. Unless they have more burn, obviously, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Okay. We'll take six. Bonnie Paul. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm probably going to scoop it up now. Sure. All right. Well, we need to not let our opponent draw 8 million cards, ideally. Do I want to play this bull? I really don't think I should. I don't know. This is probably just going to be a learning experience of, you know, how to play this format. So yeah, apparently just play the greediest, biggest things you can do so far. It seems to be the play. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, okay, I can play Genesis on two. And that usually means I can play Sarah on three. Okay, yeah, I'll keep this. Very well, there's Felia. I mean, that will be good, but I'll start with the Genesis here, I think. Hopefully you can't kill both the token and the planeswalker right away. Are they gonna discard and reanimate? What is it? No. Weird. Sylvan Library. Alright, there it is. Don't love it. Can't do much about it. I mean, I have some ways in my deck to deal with it. But... Genesis. Let's put a land in. Sure, I'll put a Restless Anger. Play. It's fine. I already have double blue and double white. I don't know. I guess I'll get an extra white. Doesn't really matter. I like wastelands running around in this format. 4-4. Four, four. I think I start tagging with some of these lands at some point too. Some maps and some stuff. I guess I can't attack with the green one at the moment, but I'll probably play Hedge Maze next turn. Well, maybe, or maybe I'll Metamorph plus Felia. We'll see. It's a little bit what they do. 
yeah i don't know maybe two drop into four drop like two drop accelerant into four drop isn't good enough for this format we'll see we'll see sorry the benevolent's not like the most threatening four drop right it's no minsk and boo but i don't know it's pretty good can deal with this stuff. Adama's reach. Okay, that's not dealing with my permanence. I like that. Obviously, them ramping more isn't great, but... Trying to land stinks. Let's, uh... Do this. Attack my opponent. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go for Metamorphelia here. Put a bunch of pressure into play. See if they can deal with it. They don't kill these. This is just like lethal next turn, so. Sadly, Felia on Sarah isn't quite as good now as it was before, but. Okay. Had a clan turn, okay. Alright, Cygna's pretty bad. Um, I just animate Anchorage. I can't animate both, right? This costs four, this costs three, but I can do both. This will get pumped by Sarah and make me a map, but this pumps my other stuff. So if they kill like one angel, this is still three. Uh, this will be a five. So five, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Pretty good. Whereas if I do this one, it's five, eight, yeah, it's less. Okay. So let's go. A prairie. If I can't get a signet out and do it. Because I can, but then I can't hedge maze. I'd rather hedge maze, so let's do it. All right, looks like we did it. Managed to beat the slow ramp here with just the big stuff. So maybe two drop into four drop is good enough. Um, yep, still don't really want anything out of my sideboard, so... Here we go. Have you to actually do the blink thing? <laughs> but that's all right. Ooh, this one I don't love as much, especially on the draw. It's just too slow. All right, this is better. Um, I just dump my five drop. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to get rid of Felia because it doesn't really do anything here, but be that bad. A brainstorm into a fetch land, I assume. Edge me is timeless witness. Uh, if I put in my graveyard, I can internalize it later, which is nice. It doesn't really do anything right now. Yeah, actually, I'm going to put it in the I don't know. Go with 
the signet. It's the turn. I guess I can't actually cast my Brago, huh? So awkward. Wait, no, I can't. Never mind. I was thinking it's double white for some reason. It's not. Uh, this is just a Oblivion Ring effect. Needs me to life. I don't expect the Brago to live very long, but you know, upkeep the fetch. Okay. Into a three. They didn't have the library this time. Something, I guess. It's like a Kadama's Reach. No, no green mana. Oh, maybe they just mistapped. Somberwald Sage. At three mana, spend only cast creatures. Thing to kill that. It sure adds a lot of mana, doesn't it? I think I'm going to. So I can always redo this with Brago or Felia and get something bigger later. And this won't matter as much, which is kind of nice. Yeah, Solemn's fine. Not so much. Sarah. Well, I can't cast that one. So the question is that I played 2 6. And then hope I can go Brago plus Felia all in one fell swoop. Or did I just play the Brago? The problem is the Brago doesn't do anything yet, but if I play Brago into the Frost Fang, I can draw a card off of it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, let me get the Brago out there. I think this is fine. Two one dies, it draws a card. Eh, I'm not gonna block that. There's too many ways that goes wrong. Prime time, okay, yeah. No have non that permit. Yeah, okay. So I can just do the prayer now. Get the prime time out of the way. Ooh, plane's a good draw here too, because now I can go Sarah and Flash that one as well. Uh, they return immediately, even. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the play then. Let's go Sarah on four. You can Angel. Back with Brago. Uh, so I might as well flash the signet. Oh, and Brago himself, of course. Prime time out of here. And make another 4-4. Four, four. All right, that was a pretty fun turn. I have a huge flying army. Uh, all right. I will block this with an angel token. You may draw your card. Let's see if they can deal with this board. It's a pretty scary board. Okay, Chromatic Lantern, not too worried about. What else you got? Anything you have to tap Somberwald Sage for, I'm worried about. 
I'm gonna call the promised end. Okay. I'm not dead to this. It's not good, but I'm not dead to it. Like, they can throw away my Brago if they want. I guess they can deal damage with the Brago and blink the Angels. That's probably the correct play. Yeah, we'll see if they do that. Yeah, looks like they found the line. All right, that's unfortunate. So maybe I'm dead. I get to reset the prayer also. Yeah. Yeah, our opponent found the line. Because he just exiled nothing. Well, if I can find a way to get the Ember Cool out of the way, which is obviously not easy because it has protection from instants. Also, I have no removal in my deck. But, you know, if somehow I could do that, then I can reset this stuff and Brago gets to kind of do some things. Falling Tarn's not exactly what I was looking for. One, two, three, six, seven. Uh... Bring back a Timeless Witness doesn't really do anything. I guess Felia is a way to get that out of the way. Okay. I'm going to want to play Felia. I could play the Frostfang now and attack. They're kind of forced to block. But I'm not even sure if that's winning for me is the problem. Trades Brago for Emrakul. I'm left dealing with a prime time and a million creature lands. Feels like I'm losing either way here, but let's we'll give it a shot. Scalding Tarn and pass. I mean, lose my Sarah here. Yeah, Hammer Cool the Promised End was pretty good. We'll see if all the decks look like this. I kind of suspect they might, and uh, I suspect this might not be the format for me if they do, but we'll see. We'll see. Do your thing, my friend. Sure. All right, whatever. I'm just going to concede. We're not winning this. All right, well, I'll see you for round number two. All right, here we go. We're on the draw. A kind of mediocre hand. I can't really cast any of these cards. If I draw a green source, I get the planar genesis, and that sort of does something. But then I only have a threat. I just have a bunch of clones. I think I'm a mulligan. Another planar genesis hand. I have to keep this one. All right, let's put back the double white card, I guess. It's so good with Brago. Maybe I put back one of the accelerants, yeah. I guess I'll just put back the explorer. That way, if I do get to my four mana, I can start doing some cool stuff. And... Okay, Gruel Signet's kind of it. We need another draw, obviously, but.
Precursor Golem ain't it. I mean, at worst, I can cast Planar Genesis off of this, but that's really not the dream. That's, that's not living the dream. Yeah, Watley, sure. Watley I can live with. If I can slam Brago this turn and it lives, that would be really nice. Okay. Step one has been accomplished. Let's see if we can get step two of it living. I guess I also need to either draw another land or... Well, another land, either a plains for that or just any land for Precursor Golem to make this Brago really pop off. But... And it's going to die. I kind of figured it would. Couldn't really do anything else, though. Asserted. Play it. Uh... Like I might get Watt lead, at which point I should probably cast Prayer of Binding. But if I just leave a Prayer of Binding, then I guess I'm just casting Planar Genesis if they don't do it. I like the idea of them wasting their mana on Watley. They have so many cards in the hand. Precursor Golem feels like it's just gonna die. They're playing black red. I don't really want to slam Sarah into this either, so I'm gonna wait. It's kind of nice because it makes them probably think like maybe I have some sort of big counter spell or something, and so they are more incentivized to actually flip Watley, play around things. a good mana exchange at least so now i could go sarah plus planar genesis which is good the problem is if they remove the angel i lose sarah for free i don't love and they still have a million cards in hand but i think i have to do it just for mana purposes All right. Yeah, I think some lessons for the future if I do this again. Draft removal. And draft huge haymakers, because people aren't really pressuring you anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's pretty much expected. Oh, like a disaster, right? We traded a card for a card, five mana for four mana. It's like fine. Uh, okay, well, putting a land. I guess I just grab Timeless Witness. I think Pest Infestation. One, two, three, four. Three cast. Sir, 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 you play your precursor golem, then you pest infestation it, and you get a million tokens. It's kind of funny, but I think I'm just gonna take the witness here. Just does the most on this spot. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I don't want to grab the Brago with this witness. Can't play it this turn, which is annoying. Be nice to do that and play the card immediately. Could regrab Planar Genesis and just play it, but that seems not that good.
could just play Precursor Golem this turn and then try to set up Witness plus thing if I draw a land. Maybe that's better. Let's hope they don't have to discard. This Golem feels like a liability against this deck, but we'll see. They're certainly sitting on a grid full of removal, right? Don't mind any of that. Two removal spell, noble's purse. Oh, okay. None of that mattered, so that's cool. Restless prayer. Not bad. Back for nine. Double chump. Well, they're wrathing the board. I still get my timeless witness down anyway. I'm gonna wait, because I can play it plus play a thing next turn anyway. I, that's such a weird block. Like, why would you block with the birds there? Doesn't make any sense unless you're going to wrath the board. Living death or something? I don't know what's in this cube, but living death feels like the kind of thing that would be in this cube. Uh, Just five damage. Just, just a regular wrath. Well, they didn't have a single target answered the golem, which is nice. All right. Don't Brago or the golem. I think I still go for Brago here. Or... Obviously, if the Brago dies, it kind of stinks, but if it lives, I get to blink the thing. All right. Let me beat this mono removal opponent. Burn down the house. Yeah, they've played uh, a lot of a lot of removal. A random splash of birds of paradise. I'll top three. You can play those cards until the end of your next turn. If, if this spell was cast in the graveyard, you may. Play them without paying their mana cost. Flashbacks for eight. Good. Lanoir Visionary Yurlock. Not too worried about Yurlock. Or the Visionary, really. I have one, two. Tap treasure. You're just not going to cast anything. Okay. Get the fairy top a bunch of their stuff. Not sure what that accomplishes. Let's see, blink the fairy if it works. Granted, given that they didn't play anything, I don't think it's gonna work, but you never know. Um I just attack first. Then I can the fairy and do a draw after, probably. If I'm going to draw with Teferi anyway, I should just do it now, I guess. I could also attack with this, but I think I'll start with this. Or 
Maybe I draw something relevant. Uh, I mean, kind of. I guess I just play it. Why not? Now if Timeless Witness gets in, I draw a card, and that's kind of cool. Rago's dying, obviously. End of turn. I mean, next turn. I cast it. Not exactly surprised that they stopped that, but. Oh, Skycleave's nice. Uh, okay, so I get the Brago with it potentially, and I get the 4 4 at least when this thing dies. Kind of solid. Love the fairy going here. Can activate Restless Prairie, start getting in for some damage that way. This uh, is Big Snake card's interesting. They can flashback their Ignite the Future if they want. Certainly have lots of mana. Error of the Peaks. Pleasure broadcast that I'm targeted costs three life. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, deals damage equal to that creature's targeting target. That's pretty good. Good. I'm right, gonna play two creatures. Yeah. I think that's at least not that big of a deal. And they missed their chance to play Brago, which I kind of like. You get to kill the fairy, of course. Yeah, having no removal sucks. I'm just gonna lose Terror of the Peaks now. Scalding Tar. Oh yeah. Really does anything. I can hit them for two. And let's get a card out of it. The land. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Cost seven. What am I looking for exactly? Eston's Festation for 10 million. Not really going to get the job done. I just don't have an answer. That twin, that Terror of the Peaks, and I think it's just going to beat me by itself. Turns out I have built this deck poorly. I now I now see the problem with having absolutely zero removal. Uh yeah, we're done. That card. Our deck sucks and this format kind of sucks. It's just play the biggest dumbest thing you can find appears to be the idea. Splash of villainous wealth. Probably not great off my one black source. Could play Scattering Stroke. I'm starting to think this card might be important, which is dumb. But... Oh, it does something. Um... I cut here. Bad against removal of failure, maybe. Got a two drop for a four drop, seems appropriate. Play first. 
All right, this looks fine. I guess Cherry is at least kind of annoying to deal with. If they can kill the tokens, it still kind of gets the job done. Uh, let's see. Anchorage. Kind of a lot of lands. I mean, not necessarily want to get a land with planar genesis, but we'll see. See what our options are. Planes, explore, ephemerate, sky cleave. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'll just. It's fine. Okay. Well, we're going to lose. At least kind of slow. Timeless witness for planar genesis. I can also attack with the anchorage this turn and get a surveil. Seems kind of nice actually. I'll surveil first. There. That in my graveyard. This. Wait this boop opponent I, mean, I might get wrathed, but at least the chariot lives through that. Yeah, it feels like I'm getting wrathed. Oh, it's just Terror of the Peaks. I mean, still scary, but the Chariot can rumble into it, which is nice. Uh, let's start with this. Four. Four lands, fantastic. And I'll map on to something. I want to attack with some cats is the question. I can attack with two cats only. They would well but I get another one. They that way if they don't block a Seekus chariot they take damage they take six. Weirdly feels worth it. Might try to map the Yusikis Chariot. Because I don't actually mind trading it. That way if they don't want to trade it, they take extra damage. Oh, nice. Go. Through. Whining twins. Let's card this again. Uh okay, yeah, I'll keep that. Okay. Just play planes. Pass. You're down to six. They wrath and they kill their own terrors, so find something else to do here. Okay, what's this? Vicious Hydra four five trample battlefield your fight's a thing or double the number of counters on. Uh, 
How's this card work again? Exile target non-token creature, return to the battlefield, the beginning of the sunset. Oh, so I can exile their Hydra, which will kill it. That's pretty good. For six. I can force them to block the chariot. Can I get lethal this turn? Hold on. We do have the restless anchorage. Uh, I blink this. I guess the crewing cost is an issue, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I guess it's just blink, play this, crew the chariot. Swift Spiral on you. Two. Pass the Twins. One, two. Four. Through Chariot with Twins. Back my opponent. Now they're forced to block with the Terror at least. And they go to two, so they kind of need a Wrath now. And even if they have one, Restless Anchorage gets the job done nicely. This thing's an 0-1. I thought it was a 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, whatever. It's still fine. Yep. Okay, I got the job done. All right. I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. It's a little awkward that my lands are both tapped sources, but maybe I can surveil and untap one. Oh, well, that works. Um, still play this first. I want more lands. I'm gonna go two drop into Signet. I don't have a white yet. I guess Scalding Tarn King. Get white, so maybe I should keep that. Nah. We can do better. Got a noble's purse. Wins, okay. Fine, let's go tarn. Search up an island, I suppose. Oh, I could have gotten Stomping Ground. Is that better? Eh, it's kind of all the same. Then I think I just go Signet, because I might use Planar Genesis for a non-accelerant source later. I'll we'll probably look to Pest Infestation on 5 mana. Depends what they have going here. It looks like they're a little stuck, which is nice. Uh, this. Impersonate the purse. Or how good that is. Or I guess metamorph the purse either way works. Uh, I could blow up the purse since they're stuck on lands. Yeah, that's just correct. Yeah. I think this is fine. It could have gotten more value later, potentially, but they're stuck on lands, so getting rid of their mana source seems pretty nice. Also, if I can now nail this thing, that would be sick. Oh, yeah. Love to pay two life. with my pest, draw two cards. That's living the dream, maybe. Very ending. Well, the plane's good. I'm 
You're around putting on the most pressure, but the Viper thing is pretty annoying. This one still seems stuck on lands. This. Reconsidering, okay. Oh, the relic. Yeah, it's not unreasonable, I suppose. Getting my witness here would be pretty sick. Uh huh. Slightly non token creature. So that doesn't quite work. Do I have any other way to blow up artifacts? I thought I had one more. Uh, Sky Cleave, I guess, would be nice here. Although I can't cast it, so it wouldn't be that nice. I suppose I just draw my cards first. There's not any reason to play stuff pre-combat here. Let's just draw three and figure out what we can do with that. I ended up copying the relic, so I can actually just get more mana. All lands. Oof. Not bad. Um. One, three, four, five, six. I do this for effectively one. Play to fairy on tap it. I'm gonna do this. So let's start with that. Pay some life. Relic puts me at five mana, which is kind of an awkward amount still. Oh, but the fairy can untap this plus a land. Fairy effectively costs one, so then I could also play, I don't know, Impersonator or Genesis or something. I can't play Sarah, unfortunately. Just draw with the fairy also. Wrath is a real possibility at this point. It doesn't kill that, which is nice. Sure. I think it's seven cards. Let's just untap some stuff. Artifact, sure. I'm just gonna pour mana. Oh, I'm just gonna pass in Planar Genesis, probably. Or I could use the Relic if I wanted to. That could be good as well. I don't need all these lands. Oh, wait, no, I don't have enough mana for that. Okay. Being a little low on time, but eight minutes should be plenty to finish a game. Let's see what our opponent's got here. Swift end on the big guy. Uh, I'll save it. It's fine. Swift Spiral on that. So counters this, which is nice. Genesis. So I might as well. I don't have plans. I will take a time to switch this thing. I suspect if I can kill their two artifacts, they are extremely dead. Sure, a lot is fine. Uh, all right. Let's 
go planes back you yield this isn't men or this is mandatory which is like slightly awkward but it's fine uh all right now we'll go Blue, blue, signet, it's a green, it's witness, test infestation, app, okay. Ooh, we beat a mana screwed opponent. Let's go. Let's go. The... F this would have been kind of awkward. I would have had like dead snakes or something. I I couldn't like I couldn't attack with the pests very easily because I would have decked myself. So, you know, but it should have. I think it would have been okay. All right, I'll see you for the final match. All right, hero for the final match. Tand has a lot of colors, which is nice, but I don't like doing nothing until turn four on the draw. So again. All right, sand looks better. Definitely keep it. Question is, that I put back a land or a Huatli? I think I just put back one of the planes and hope I draw something. Obviously, the dream is to explore out this Brago here. Okay, now the dream is to explore that out. Well, actually, Brago might sleep better. Turn anyway. Um, there's no reason to pay life for the stomping ground because I can play that later untapped. So this way. Bring false demons. All right. Okay, I'm gonna draw land soon. Would really love a land. I'm gonna regret my decision now, but I mean, I draw th drawn three non lands in a row. Kind of insane. Oh, sea charm. Now the Brago is worse because that just blocks it. So I guess I will just go for the chariot now. I can at least attack past the Seed Shark, which is nice. I'll still get the Brago going eventually, but... Can't deal combat damage, it's kind of irrelevant. Kyora. Interesting. Oh, let's untap the Incubator. Okay. Or transform the incubator. Sarah's interesting. Probably be doing that, but let's start with this, obviously. Guess I'll attack the Kyora, sure. Oh, yeah, I should have done the Seraph first, because then I could have copied that token. Whoops. That was a mistake. Should I just play Brago now? Oh, man, I messed that up. Messed that up big time. I'm gonna play Brago. It's okay. I don't know. I can't believe I didn't see that combo. Actually, a really nice combo. Thing, that's fine. Trying to something big. Exploit Worker. 
Plus two, plus two when attacks. You get an extra combat. Okie dokie. Let's draw. Oh, I can tap down to Chromo's Sea Shark with the fairy. That feels pretty good. Um, should I attack with the chariot at that point? Does that deal damage to a player? does okay so i don't get to kill kiora if i do it that way though i can attack with some cats also i think teferi tap down chrome host seat shark so i can blink stuff seems kind of nice because i can blink the teferi if nothing else am i happy trading the chariot for a rebel not in love with the idea So I probably won't. Right. Uh, four. Okay. Ooh. Choose an artifact. Uh that one. Choose a creature. That one. Choose a land. This one. Sprago is definitely attacking. I could attack with the cats to kill Kiora as well. I'll get two more cats. I care about them getting extra combat phase. Non zero amount. Yeah, all right. You know what? I've changed my mind. This. Done. Getting my opponent. Let's do our attacking. Yora. Do I need to attack with the cat actually? Because they don't trade. I need some blockers. Think about Kiora being alive. They don't trade. They get an extra combat phase with this. I have two cats up. I need the third cat. Hmm. I guess I have another one from here, so that's fine. Go for the trade. That's fine. I guess, yeah, that means Brago's worse. So maybe that was bad. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Those two. Question is, what do I do with the fairy now? I would like to keep it alive so I can keep getting in. But I'll just draw. Pest infestation. That seems kind of nice here. I need more lands, but being able to kill even two artifacts seems pretty good. Well, uh, the Prayer of Binding on the Chrome Host is also really good. Yeah, and I can for sure cast that one. So. Okay, let's see what happens.
Series of Warcrafting, kill the Frago, sure. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked with the Chariot. I I don't know. I My head wasn't comprehending everything as it needed to, unfortunately. I killed the Fairy here, which is great, but okay. Five. Wow, these draws. Uh, I gotta get rid of the Sea Charg, I think. It's already done a lot of damage, but it's gonna continue to do more. I can clever impersonator the prayer if I want to. I guess it does make it a five five, huh? Eh, it's kind of a lot. A lot. I triple block this, I take eight, you attack me again. Yep. I guess this has damage on it now, but I'll still do this trade. I'm at four, but I'm not too worried. Plants okay, I guess. I'm just gonna pray or the other token now, I think. That'll be a good one to blink later. And it buys me some time. It is annoying that anything they play, they can put the stupid X blade on here, but what am I gonna do? Uh oh, they have a loot tree. Metamorph. Interesting. Lucha's gonna be a 5-4. I guess Sarah Angel blocks it. Feels like there's a lot of ways that goes wrong. Still think I do it though. They have a counter. All right, it's removal plus loot tree because that will kill me. If it's just loot tree, it's still bad, but it's not as bad. Because they now need a removal spell as well. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, blue red spell stuff. Chrome host sea shark is an annoying one, and I still have no removal in my deck, so that's exciting. Uh yeah, I think you're supposed to keep a hand like this. Obviously a land would go a long way, but... We'll see what happens. Precursor Golem's a pretty horrendous draw, so that's nice. Drawing a land here would still be good, because then I can Huatli. Instead of having to play Energenesis for my land. Right. 
Hopefully there's not too many counters. Oh, I have. I have all my colors. Do I need double of anything? I have double white. <clears throat> I have triple white, in fact. So I have double white or double green. or Sorry, double blue or double green. I guess double blue, right? Well, it's close. I don't matters right now. I guess green lets me activate the prairie. So yeah, let's go for forest, actually. Right, not Chrome Host Seed Shark. Oh, that's fine. Did not care about that creature. Let's play that. Play a Chariot here. Four. Yeah, obviously it would have been cool to get the Flip Watley, but it did its job of getting me a land. Let's see what I cared about. I get the Cloud Blazer going. Nice. And they did have the Chrome Host. That's unfortunate. All right. Let's go. Land. Share. Actually. No, I'll still crew with the cats. I could crew with the new thing, but. The same since I wouldn't attack with the cat anyway. Because I could have played Precursor and copy a Golem, but that actually doesn't seem that good because of the whole Golems die to every removal spell in existence thing. I'm gonna just play this guy instead. Okay, Ocarin Frostfang's not the worst. I mana next turn. <clears throat> Can at some point activate the prairie as well. Got that again. That's not too scary in this spot. Don't think. Can tap down the 4 4. I think they get the 5-5 five, five incubators, obviously kind of annoying, but are they at 15? I have up to 6 mana. I could play Teferi, tap Rebel. Cost me 4. I have another 2. I can Planar Genesis afterwards if I want. Could just slam the Frostfang, crew with Frostfang plus something, attack with Chariot plus three tokens. Problem is that leaves me with one tapped creature, so if they just take it, they can activate this, attack me for 11, then attack me again, so if they have any removal spell I just lose, that seems kind of bad. You like attacking with chariot though. Very tap your stuff. Or it lets me untap a land. That doesn't really do anything. I need this 2 6 in play untapped. So I can do some blocking on their big attack turn. So maybe that's what I do.
And I do want to get the Signet in play, because I think just having lots of mana will be good. All right, Crew Chariot with two cats. Attack with Cloud Blazer plus Chariot. I have Ocran and two cats back to block. Feels okay to me. Obviously, I don't love trading his Chariot for a 2 2 token, but it does tax their mana a bit. Oh, Skycleave's really good. Okay. That'll definitely help. What's this? Goldspan Dragon. God does that much. I guess it lets them wake up the incubator, but. Oh, they're attacking with both? Aggressive. Take it. They're at 13. Aren't they just dead? Sarah. Uh, one, two, three. Four. So, let's just say they wake up the artifact and block whatever one of these. This gives plus one plus one to all my stuff. So I'll be attacking for way more than lethal. Yeah, I think I just do that. I have to have a lot for this to go badly for me. Can I Skyclave after? One, two, four. Well, if I draw land, I can, which I'm likely to draw land if this somehow doesn't kill. Let's make sure to leave up. White here. So they have the removal spell for this. That's like kind of bad. But if not, then this feels pretty decent. Yep. Uh, X plate wall break. All right, well, still have no good answers to see Shark, except the ones that I do have. Brilliant statement, I know. It's the, the kind of commentary you come here for, I imagine. All right, this looks keepable. The Perry's not a very good card, I don't think. It's like fine, but. Oh, I do like Felia. I still imagine I'm just going to play the Signet here, but... Jace, okay. Much about Jace. Uh, let's play Signet. Go Guard Mage. Go from there, I guess. Well, I won't have to deal with the Hexblade this game, I suppose. Explore is interesting, but... This guy... Oops. Undo, undo... I want to kill it, I'm sure. Oh, it's not amazing for me, but... Not the end of the world. Was a good target for Felia. Next turn is maybe Huatli plus something. Oh, the Kefnet. Yeah, that card seems agreeable as well. Okay, well, cool. I'm going to lose. Uh... I do here. I 
just go Huatli and get land. Uh, Horus honestly seems fine. Uh, that seems, uh, all right. Bad, I guess. Flashback bolt. Certainly a thing you can do, isn't it? He didn't reveal anything off Kefnet. Yikes. Um, so we got the fairy and flicker it. It comes on the end steps. That doesn't even actually help much. Horrible draws here. That's deal damage to player, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm even on planar genesis. Some action. Oh, Skyqueave. Oh, Skyqueave is actually perfect. Uh, so let's go no on that. Grab the Skyclave. Okay. Now, don't need to blink anything yet. Let's just stack Jace here and see what happens. Yes. It is up to. Second exile the signet. Get my counter. Well, they had to throw away a Snapcaster on nothing. It's not the worst. Skyclave your Kefnet. Wait, this works on Exile? That ability working on Exile is... Disgusting. Thing back. I wonder if they'll get the four four out of it. I actually don't know how that interaction works. on 800 million mana. Okay, well, this is going to be a Sky Cleave on their next Kefnet play, I suppose. Uh, one, two, three, six. Explore into the fairy. Play Ocran. Let's go explore. this. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Maze. Graveyard. Let me just play the fairy for now. Let's see what can be flashback here. Red replication. Fine. I think I care if they make a bunch of Skyclave apparitions or a Skyclave apparition. It's fine. And I 
I figured they might have a counter spell and I'd rather Teferi get countered than anything else. This will counter the spell. That is fine. I guess now they can flash that back, which copies or targets, sure. Got it. Yora. Well, I'll feel this. I think I'm going to flicker the Yora so I don't draw a card off of it. Non land, not. Place that removal in response is really bad, but it didn't get anything. Boom. We're out of here. I think I could have just played my 4 4 instead of my 2 6. Maybe that was better. I'll be okay. Delta, not the best. All right, let's go metamorph. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess I just have enough, so the overpay. Probably attacking Jace anyway. Well, maybe I want to draw a card actually. Jace being on five versus three isn't a massive difference. Eh, it's probably worth it though. Left in exile this time. It's this, and hopefully they don't have a wrath for me. Delta. All right. Let's see what they've got. They choose right of replication, but they can't kick it, so I'm just not that worried about it. They can make a twins if they want. Big deal. Make that. And exile the twins or one of my skyclaves. Well, not specifically this one. Kind of funny, actually. Actually, wait, no, this is still a non creature, I guess, so we could exile that one too. Not terribly worried about that. Gonna hit my fire, sure. Fine by me. Oh, Brago's interesting. Yeah, I'll play a Brago. Uh, I guess there's no reason to cast it right this second. Let's attack. Fine with any trade that happens here. Remember, the Kefnet doesn't actually come back, they just get a token. I get a 4-4, four, four. I draw two cards, they get a four. Restless Anchorage, Brago. Pass. 
They got this in exile as well. It's seasoned pyro. Oh, that's a good draw here. Definitely a good draw. That could get him out of it. If anything will. I mean. okay, fine stone, not the best follow up. You're just sacking it. Or, or cut. Their own twining twigs. Brago worse for sure. Oh, Precursor Golem's nice. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll attack with a bird, I guess. Maybe. You can just slam with everything. Don't really care how they block. Everything has death touch. I draw cards of everything. It just good. Station be good at some point. For now, let's go golem. Three. This map is flyer, I think. Ephemerate. Uh oh yeah, I'm gonna put them in my graveyard because if they they kill this golem, it's not good, and... Actually, that's just not even good on the golem anyway, because it links the tokens, so, yeah. Right here. There. Uh, all right. Stacking. Don't think they have any good blocks, really. So. I need to watch that I don't deck myself. I'll be okay. Oh, okay. Um, the prairie actually does help a little bit. Let's go prairie and then just play a giant pest infestation, I think. One, two, three, four, seven. Yeah, and then I can get a lethal attack going. Done. I already have lethal. Maybe I should just save it in case they do have some kind of weird wrath. So I burned down the house before. Yeah, actually, never mind. Alone. Map my bird again, though. Uh, I'm gonna just not put anything into my graveyard because I am actually worried about decking a little bit. Sells conscripts. Sure. That'll let them draw some cards potentially, but they're at six. So I think they can really do a whole lot from here. I suppose the pests would have been good here to block, but not terribly worried about it. Some blockers back. You actually need a lot of blockers. Spessa would have been good, it turns out, but it's fine. Sure. I mean, basically everything here is lethal. Uh, all right, bang. Activate you. 
for the U, V, everybody. This might actually just be lethal. I didn't do the math. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, well, we managed to go 2 and 1 with that deck, so I guess it wasn't that bad. I don't know if I'm in love with this format. I'll probably try it again, though. It, it seems like it might have something to it. I think we'll probably go for a bit more of a greedy deck next time. But I do think having the early acceleration is relevant. But, yeah, weird, weird little format. All right, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, consider hitting like, subscribe. All the good YouTube buttons that you help me out, and I appreciate it a lot. That'll do for this. For, that'll do it for this video. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.